So, let's add the, the help part for the boss. Now, uh, I kind of change the resolution of my canvas, keep that in mind, so we get a little bit smaller icons. But what I actually want to do right now is create the boss battle. Let's create a new game object that will take care of that. And let's call this boss shelf. Let's create a slider beneath it. And this will be a slider for the boss. We also need some text that will say its name, of course. And so, okay. Let's bring this here and let's go and fix this. The slider. Let's make it bigger. Let's do it something like this. Yeah, good enough. Then the text is probably going to be going to need to be a little bit bigger. Something like that. Let's make it white or let's make it yellowish. Let's give it some shadows, but only below. Okay, let's change the slider a little bit to make it look more saucy. Okay, uh, let's break this uh, more accurate. I think that's it. Okay, yeah, I think that's enough. Okay, so this will be our boss health then. Uh, well, in theory, you should make this stack because you might have more than one boss. So, okay, maybe let's go with that idea. Let's add that in. Let's add an empty game object. Uh, that will be the grid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one problem. At our, well, actually, that's not really a problem. There is a bit of an offset for the text and the slider as to where they are placed in context of this. Okay, so I'm going to make the grid actually go the other way around. I'm going to bring this down here. So third axis, vertical, flexible row count, uh, flexible column count, side so alignment, I think that doesn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, lower center. So the more you add, they will just go upwards. Okay, so that will be over here. Awesome. So Now, well, the idea is uh, with a boss that you usually do not, do not have anything, doesn't have to do anything to do with uh, FOV or not. So it's still an enemy, but is 
he kind of has more yeah he is a little bit different to that logic but let's go and fix this for example and let's say well first of all he needs to be inside the game UE obviously and let's open this actually I think not inside the game UE because you can have the inventory yeah I think over there this will be fine so let's open up our UI manager and we're going to say public game object boss UE public game object boss prefab or boss health prefab and we need a transform for boss health grid then we're going to do public void or public public slider add boss slider okay and that will create a game object the slider is not really ideal either to be honest so let's do a utility let's call it boss health bar Okay, health slider, public text post name. I think that's that will do for now. Then on our UI manager, let's find this. We're going to return the boss health bar. We need to parent this under boss health grid. We need to fix the scale. Then we need to make it active. Then we're going to return. The health bar. OK. So let's set up the health bar. Oh. And We don't need to have these objects closed, just the prefab. Then let's fix this. So we have a grid. Well, first of all, we have our prefab. We have our grid. And we do have our boss health object over here, but I don't think we're going to use it for anything. So we have our health bar. We need to add the slider and we need to add the name of the boss. Okay. Then on to the AI controller. We can tag him as like if he's a boss. So up over here we could say public bool is boss, public string boss name. And we're also going to want to store boss health bar. So the difference with a boss is that if he is actually when he is instance, for example, when you get inside the game or when you go into the boss room, he uh, he actually already knows where you are. So if is boss going to treat it or you know what let's make this as a public void uh, enable boss 
we should have also a disabled boss we have our boss helper okay so if enable boss we're going to say our boss helper boss helper equals UI manager add boss let's call this add boss boss helper okay so we have our, our health bar technically our current target should now be input manager dot single dot controller okay hard code it in without having to go through the FOV and so on on the disabled boss all we have to do is if boss health bar Let's call this boss health bar. If it's not null, then destroy that. The rest is taken care of. Of course, you can add what uh, happens when you beat this boss. On enable boss, then we're going to do this. Then a few things need to change if you are the boss. Okay, if you are the boss you should be updating boss health bar dot health slider dot value to stats dot health oh we also need to on enable we should also change the boss name to dot text to boss name we have over here okay and we also need to fix the detection so if current target equals null this can happen pretty much yeah but I think because we have already hard coding the target this will never run so let's say and not is boss this might throw a few errors here but we'll see so that's pretty much it for setting up a boss and, and his health bar oh one more thing we need to be setting up the maximum value for the health boss so boss health bar dot health bar health slider dot max value will be stats dot health and of course boss health bar dot health slider dot value now should be stats dot health as well okay let's test this out then let's find our slayer and let's stick him as his boss let's give him a boss name let's call him guardian of subs that subscribers not uh, the sandwiches or I guess you could want the sandwiches and I want one I'm just going to don't bake the obstacle we did over there and uh, I'm just going to bring the players that much back that if he wasn't a boss he he wouldn't be seeing us okay and here you can see the guardian of subs And 
we cannot damage him i think no we can okay so only one thing we should change well of course we need to give him more more damage is yeah i can attack i need more stamina oh it's the animation that itself yeah so only thing that we need to change is when we hit him he should not be creating a health bar so let's see on hit do we have any on hit no we don't on damage on damage is hit so if not is boss do this otherwise don't do anything awesome save all that Yeah, that's kind of annoying with our stamina. But yeah, you can say that now it's working like a boss. And of course, there's nothing stopping us into creating more bosses. For example, we can have this guy as well. Let's call him Golem or whatever. So now you are royally screwed. Yeah, of course we need to fix their attacks a little bit more but you get the idea this is pretty hard to fix they kind of clip on each other uh, but that's fixed i believe through the agent you can see that this guy's agent is super tiny so we should probably give him something like this so he's not clipping with the other guy yeah so that's it for bosses and their health bars okay of course doing the damages and attacks is another thing altogether but yeah that's the main idea with this you can now have some boss health bars and so on and so on so that's it for this part as well as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more stuff more videos more series more of everything then of course consider supporting me on patreon so we can keep making all of these nice things we're making i'll see you next time.